This geography presentation is all about how to understand what proportional symbol maps are and how best to interpret them. Proportional symbol maps are a specific way of displaying data about regions or countries. They are a type of map that includes symbols that change in size depending upon the value they represent. An example of one is shown here. The circles represent the largest cities by population in India. By using the key to help us, we can see that there are two mega cities with over 10 million people, including Mumbai on the west coast and Delhi, the capital city, towards the north. Pause the show and look at the map and its key to make sure you fully understand what it shows. An examiner may ask about the advantages of using this type of map. It is often easier to identify the patterns rather than looking at a table full of numbers. It's also a good way of showing data related to places. This method can also help us see, for instance, that there's very little forestry production in the UK compared with France and Germany when looking at the map and the size of the shapes. Pause to show and make sure you understand the advantages of using proportional symbol maps. Proportional symbol maps also have some disadvantages. It can be very difficult to actually calculate how much each circle is worth. Sometimes the circles overlap, making it even more confusing to understand. Pause the show and note down some of the disadvantages of this method for showing data. I will now show you how to work out how to calculate the sizes. The examiner will always provide a key. You will need a ruler and a steady hand when looking at the key to make sure you can interpret it properly. First, measure either the radius, shown as R on the screen, or diameter of the circle. Secondly, match your answer to the key and work out the value. Double check that your answer looks sensible compared to any information given. For example, on the screen we can see two circles showing the population change of a place from 1975 on the left to 2015 on the right. It's clearly increased its population since it's a lot larger, but by how much? I measured the radius of the smaller circle with a ruler and found out it, it is 0.8 centimetres. I then matched the 0.8 centimetres carefully up with the key as shown by the smaller blue dashed circle that I have added below. Now, it is important to keep the radius line at a right angle to the bottom key line to make sure it gives an accurate result. I can then read the key and see that in 1975 there was a population of 2,000 people. I then repeat the process with the larger circle, shown in red on the key below. In summary, I can tell that between 1975 and 2015, the village has doubled in size from 2,000 to 4,000 people. Pause the slide now and make sure you now know how to calculate proportional symbol sizes. Why not have a go at a few practice ones yourself?